Across the country, law enforcement is struggling to recruit new officers, and it's an issue here at home as well. And our Liz Lewin was able to stop by a unique recruitment event today to find out what local departments are doing to get their numbers up. And Liz, how was that turnout today? Well, Scott Mary Ellis, the turnout, to be honest, was pretty impressive, given the fact that this really was the first time our local agencies partnered on this level. In fact, I just asked around for the most part, and this was promoted via social media and word of mouth. Their hope is across all departments, turnout will translate into higher recruit numbers. Law enforcement agencies across western New York are not taking a back seat when it comes to recruitment. We noticed it starting when COVID hit that our numbers for recruitment were down. The number of people taking the police exam were down, and that's not only true for Amherst, but it's true for all the agencies in the area. Which is why on Monday, several departments, including Amherst, Cheektowaga, Kenmore, Lancaster, Lockport, Tonawanda, University Police, and State Police, joined forces inside Amherst Police Community Policing and Training Facility to host their first big multi-department recruitment event. The goal, to boost numbers and diversity. Two things Lieutenant Greg Huller with Amherst Police says have been tough to do. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised by the number, but I'm pleasantly surprised by it. Both Deanna de Blasi and Jabril Garner are hoping to take the county civil exam in September. It's really cool seeing female officers here. Um, being a few by myself because it's such a male dominated profession. So it's really cool to talk to them and see how successful they have been. Well, New York State uh, campus police, they just said um, you can live anywhere you want to, so you don't have to worry about living in a certain district to uh, apply for the job or take sit down and take the test. John Micarello hopes to follow in his father's footsteps by getting into law enforcement himself. My dad worked um, in the prisons uh, for 20 years and then he became a sheriff. I know for myself it took a year and a half before I got hired just to go through the process. So it's a long journey to get to being hired to begin with. According to national data, the increase in retirement and resignation numbers paired with moderate hiring efforts have a lot to do with short staffing. Take Amherst Police, for example. At full strength, their force is roughly 159 strong. Right now, they're down 11 to 12 officers. Buffalo Police Department is down roughly 40. Huller says these deficits take a significant toll on departments. We all have some kind of health and wellness. I can, I can tell you in Amherst, we, we offer yoga classes. There's anything that we can do to help the officers be prepared for when they do go on the road. I'm told there's a strong possibility given today's success that another one of these multi-department recruitment events will be held midterm. So you want to be on the lookout for that also. Some fire and rescue departments were also on hand doing their own recruiting. For more information, you can head over to our website right now at WGRC.com. In the Information Center, Liz Lewin, Channel 2 News.